But people get a big surprise and they come and say, gee, that was a good circus. And that's what we like to hear. I started off in circus as Buffalo Bill's knife throwing assistant. Well, that was a spinning wheel and you were on it and spinning around and he'd throw knives in between and everything, but it didn't bother me. People would say later, you must have been terrified he'd hit you. No, it didn't bother me in the least. So I did work for a while as a musical clown. I was an acrobat, you know. I was doing just about anything possible to do. I was in many circuses where I did perform because you just put another wig on and a little moustache or something like that and the people don't recognise. been dancing all my life. I can't remember when I didn't dance. I actually started, I think, when I was about three or four. I did come to love it very, very much, and it really has been everything to me all my life. My body just took over, and it was one of those moments that you have as a dancer you have, I don't know how many you have in, in your career, I think I've had maybe five or six, where my body just took over and everything was perfect. face-to-face -face presentation, it was people-to-people -people music. That's how I was read with music. I was read with music around campfires, a transmission of old culture. Everybody had a role, everybody had a, a right to, to participate. For me, music is life. For me, the live thing is what it's all about. Yeah, oh, my first big concert was U2, and I remember when I asked my mum if I could go, I was so sure that she'd say no. But I thought, oh, I won't ask anyway. And my mum, she wept and she said, oh, when I was 15, the Beatles came to Blackburn. And I asked my mum if I could go. And I wasn't allowed to go because my mum didn't like how the girls screamed. And she said, I'm still so dirty that I didn't get to go. And Ellen, I'm, I'm, yes, of course you can go. <laughs> There are a number of times people have come up and said, I realised tonight things aren't like they were, you know, they've had a turning point, they've had a change because they've realised the unbridled joy that's in the music is there for the taking out of almost anything. We went to a gig up in Coburg and everyone said you should hear this band and this angel singing out front was just something to behold. It wasn't very long after that that the London music scene went crazy over the Seekers. You're always window shopping but never stopping to buy. Well, the first theatrical experience, and I do know that it was a, a longing there, but not only unrealised, I never thought it would be. I just knew I had, I 
had immortal lungings. I walked into this little theatre and there was a little orchestra, but it excited me beyond belief because uh, it played an overture and the curtain went up and then I was hooked. The sense of connecting with a big mass of people getting that positive feedback of what you're doing and that sense of affirmation and power it gives you, especially as a young woman, to get on stage and to just feel like I just have to be myself and people like it.